This is our new pedal box, part number PEDBOX3, PEDBOX3. The dimensions are pretty much the same as the old version and you can find all the dimensions either in our catalogue or online. Uh, this one is a, a cable clutch version and there is a hydraulic clutch version also available. It's got a billet aluminium, very nice throttle pedal here. This little screw here. Uh, is an adjuster as a throttle stop you can screw it in or out and this little aluminium block here is where the inner cable is fixed and you need to drill the back of the pedal box for an adjuster or however you're going to fix the outer cable And if you should need it, there's more adjustment here for the throttle pedal. It's got a steel brake pedal with a facility to adjust the front to back brake bias with a balance bar, which goes in here. And you may, if you're going to fit a balance bar, you may need to clean out some of the powder coating in this sleeve so that the balance bar slides. And the clutch pedal here. Again, press steel with adjustment. That's the adjustment for the cable. And there is where the, the outer cable is fixed. You'll need to drill a hole there, whichever size you need, and attach the cable with a clevis on there. There's the holes for the two brake master cylinders. And the side view of the throttle pedal. Very nice. I'll be using a 25mm flat wheel here just to clear the powder coating from the inside of the balance bar tube I'll probably have to take the pedal off to do that uh, I've cleaned out the powder coating from inside the balance bar sleeve and you can see now it's a very nice sliding fit in the sleeve you want to put a bit of grease on it just so it doesn't seize and when you install it it's easiest to do with the pedal out of the box and you're going to put a, a cable adjuster on it make sure that the longer end of the balance bar the longest thread is towards the throttle pedal and also you can see here the pedals have got some very nice nylon pivot bushes and you can see that I've installed the two master cylinders I've used 0.7s here but you can use whichever combination you need to suit your brake setup. And here you can see the balance bar fitted with the clevises fitted to the push rods of the master cylinders. There you go. And I fitted the manual balance bar adjuster here. I've just put a, a pan head screw to hold the adjuster to the balance bar, but you can use an M4 grub screw when you come to fit yours. You can see that the balance bar slides in and out of the sleeve. So once you've got it adjusted, Here's the adjuster and you can see as I rotate the adjuster the balance bar moves in the sleeve adjusting the brake bias on your front to back brakes. When the bush on the balance bar 
is fully over to the right towards this cylinder, this cylinder is getting more pressure than this one. If you move the balance bar over to the left, means this cylinder is getting more pressure than this one. In the middle, it's 50-50. And you can mount this balance bar adjuster knob through a 20mm hole, somewhere convenient, on or under your dash. But remember, this adjustable setup is only legal for track cars. It's not legal for road cars. The balance bar needs to be fixed in position permanently to comply with IVA to be legal on UK roads. And we supply a little balance bar locking kit which enables you to do that.